If you think about graffiti, it goes all the way back to cave paintings. The Romans and the Egyptians, they had a little bit of style, but really it was always kind of the same thing. It was, it was marking your territory in some, in some way, and, and that was it. In the 1970s, again back in New York, suddenly something happens. Suddenly there's an explosion of color, of styles, of new fonts and calligraphy that the world has never seen. What happened? Artists started doing something out of necessity just so they could write all over the city. They started recruiting people from different neighborhoods. You have Puerto Rican kids, you have black kids, you have white kids. It was a really diverse group of people. And they did this so that they could walk through different neighborhoods and they would know their way around and they'd be able to go and tag the trains. But because they organized like that, they all started bringing different influences to graffiti and their different perspectives and their different backgrounds and their different cultures. And that's why graffiti suddenly became this visual representation of the melting pot that was New York. Like, graffiti's guiding principle was that diversity drives innovation.